Yeah, I just had something go wrong with a bearing and there was some shrapnel in the rear cover. So obviously there was something wrong, didn't want to risk it and happy it happened yesterday. Yeah, um, I know we have really good raw speed when the track's fast and has grip, so that's a good feeling because qualifying is extremely important here. So um, I felt like we were a little bit behind when the track got slicker, so we'll just see what we get for track conditions today and go from there. Yeah, I truly can't tell a difference um, if they change the banking from week to week, maybe, but we haven't been here for a whole year, so it's hard to remember, but being out there feels pretty similar as it did last year. Yeah, it's definitely really cool. You know, uh, I've been able to race at Daytona, International Speedway, um, and, and a couple other NASCAR tracks, but um, just the top-notch facilities that, um, you know, just like Charlotte, you know, the same guy uh, owns them all there. So um, it, it's just a great facility. It's in the middle of nowhere. It's definitely so unique being a Coliseum, and it's like our football stadium, really. You know, that that's what I would compare it to as a as a football stadium, and uh, just with how banked this track is, it's just so unique, nothing that we're used to at all, and uh, it's great. I hope, uh, you know, down the road, the World of Outlaws could race at just venues like this uh, 10, 12 years down the road, because I think uh, we deserve to race on stuff like this. I think we put on a good enough show for our fans to do it as well. All right, guys, we're here at Bristol, getting ready to go. We had the practice night last night. Uh, went fairly good in the first session, found a problem with our rear end, and then had to miss one hot lap session, and three and four, we were just okay when the track got slick. Uh, we drew a 31 tonight. I think there's 24 cars. Uh, a couple guys are starting and parking, so uh, probably about 21 legit cars. Um, weather is great. What a year uh, a difference makes here. The, it's beautiful out, 70 degrees. Tomorrow looks like it's even going to be warmer, so uh, looking forward to great racing conditions. You're not going to be freezing our butts off this year. Um, we have a ton of, ton of confidence here, especially early in the night, so let's see if we could rattle off a good uh, lap here in qualifying and try to get in the front row of that heat race and uh, work out from there. So we'll talk to you guys after it's over. We got Cameron Sage here helping us out with the video stuff. Hopefully you guys enjoy the video and uh, we're back at Bristol, man. This is one of a kind. We'll talk to you guys later. Thank you. Peace. We continue with My Place Hotels qualifying and on the clock now, man, it was fastest last night in practice from Watertown, Connecticut, the Houston Speedway Billion Automotive, Jackson Motorplex, High Performance Lubricants, JRC Transportation, number two, David Gravel. David Gravel in the number two lap of the line. Second lap time for David Gravel. Third quick at a 13903131393. Third fastest for the number two of David Gravel. Into the field, the green flag. Side by side down the front stretch into turn one. Gravel up higher on the speedway. Shuhart down low, grabs the lead as Gravel slips up the banking. Gravel in second. Kyle Larson in third as they make their way into turn three. Logan Shuhart will lead the opening lap. David Gravel second, a little bit of a slip up coming out of turn two, allow Kyle Larson to get slightly closer. Meanwhile, Brad Sweet stalking brother-in-law Kyle Larson. Shuhart, Shuhart and Gravel at this point look to be on their way to this evening's micro light dash. Back straight away for the final time. Checkered flag will wave from the hands of Dave Farney as Logan Shuhart wins heat race number one. Second will go to David Gravel. David Gravel gets to chat with me yet again interviewed him several times this week of course because he swept the bristol bash last year really mixing up the pills this time the number five the number five but as we keep talking about you swept this event last year how are you feeling at this point tonight compared to how you felt at this point on either night last year definitely not as good tonight um Got smoked in the heat race and drew a five and seven, one or two, but uh, night's not over. I think the track's gonna be really racy. Um, the grip level's down and um, track's moving up in a hurry. So I think uh, we have a chance here at passing a car or two, but uh, we'll see what happens and uh, try to get in the second row and uh, go from there. Good luck tonight. Pace begins to quicken. Green flag waves on tonight's micro light dash. Into turn one. Logan Shuhart with the early lead. Craig Kinzer in the second spot. David Gravel could pick to the inside as Spencer Bateman can't make the pass for the fifth spot. Fast line moving up. 
It will be Logan Shuhart winning the Micro Light Dash. Aaron Reitzel in second. Craig Kinzer third. And Carson Macedo hangs on for fourth, followed by Spencer Basin and David Gravel. Underway at Bristol Motor Speedway. Logan Shuhart leads to the end of the front straightaway. Jumping up high, Aaron Reitzel coming after him, now cuts to the inside, looking for the lead at the end of the backstretch. Third spot, Carson Macedo fourth and David Gravel in fifth. Gravel now looks to the inside of Macedo, can't make the move out of turn two. Logan Shuhart leading it. Gravel again to the bottom in three and four, but cannot take that spot from Carson Macedo. They continue the race for fourth. Gravel to the bottom, everybody else in the top ten are on the high side of the speedway. And now Spencer Baston's got the run on Gravel down the back stretch. Baston now, a quick peek to the inside, but stays back up on the cushion and keeps the momentum built up after the CJD Motorsports number five. Four laps into the 25 lap feature, and Logan Schuhart is showing the way. However, second place Aaron Reitzel contending with traffic. Three laps to go. Drop Logan Schuhart wins the opening night of the Bristol Bash. All right, got sidetracked with a pregnant wife, so I didn't get the vlog done last night, but solid first night. We weren't quick time like we were last year, but we qualified fourth, started second heat race number one. We were able to hold on to second there, kind of struggling with the handle of the race car. And the dash, we drew a five, which sucked. I uh, didn't want to draw a five. I'd rather have started 6th than 5th, but um, started 5th, ran 6th, um, car was okay, uh, Didn't we hadn't had a real good handle on the car at that point either, but felt like we were headed in the right direction, and then for the feature, we started 6th, and we ran 5th, it was just wide open around the top for 25 laps, no cautions, um, just hauled ass around there as fast as you could go, and uh, that's where we ended up, so... Um, I felt like the best race car we had all night long was in the feature, so that's exciting for uh, what we could do um, today uh, on night two. So really looking forward to it. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed uh, all the clips we've been posting on TikTok and Shorts and Twitter and Instagram. We're working hard to try to provide you guys lots of content, but make sure you guys subscribe, ring that bell for notifications. Please give this video a thumbs up and tell your friends, guys. We need to get some views. We've got to get some subscribers. So thank you very much, and uh, we'll see how we do on night two, guys. ShopDGR.com. Peace.